This is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today I have an exciting episode for you, and some of you guys have been waiting for this one for definitely a long time. So I'm finally, well, I guess kind of in between seasons, but not really. I'm kind of running a little bit late. But finally took the peppers out, and they were actually planted in this very raised bed right behind me. This raised bed is approximately 4 feet by 15 feet. And as you can see, we have the uh, drip irrigation installed. Now today's episode is going to be a very special one because I'm going to do the Earth Mister installation for you guys to show you guys uh, how it's installed and basically go over how it works. Now I don't know how it works yet because I haven't installed it and I haven't used it yet but this is going to be the install video and then I'm going to do some testing to see how it works. Well first let me back up a second here. For those of you that aren't in the know, what is the Earth Mister? Well, the Earth Mister is a revolutionary irrigation system that claims to save up to 20% more water than even the most efficient drip irrigation systems on the market at this time. If you are a new subscriber and haven't watched my old videos, I would encourage you to watch them. I have actually two episodes on, I think it was entitled, The uh, Revolutionary Irrigation, which I uh, introduce uh, YouTube land and my viewers to this new irrigation system. Now, what I like to do is I like to be on the cutting edge. You know, sometimes cutting edge things work and sometimes they don't work. But nonetheless, if you're not on the cutting edge to find out about the newest products and try them actually in a real world situation, you're never going to know if something's better or worse than the current established systems that are being used. And that's one of the reasons why I strive to grow all kinds of different varieties of plants you probably never heard of before to try to you know see if they're gonna work and see maybe why people aren't growing them and in my opinion a lot of the reasons why people aren't growing a lot of the different crops is because basically they're highly perishable and number two they're not transportable or shippable very easily which means in the end they're not financially viable while this system is totally on the other end this earth mister system which I actually I got the package here and I'm gonna open it up in front of you guys is very sustainable Number one, it's actually less expensive than a drip irrigation system. You could order on their website, uh, the Earth Mister website, for like 40 bucks a kit to basically put in a four foot by four foot raised bed kit. And that includes not only the tubing and everything you'll need, there's no emitters to buy, but it also includes like a filter, the glue, and everything. So it's definitely uh, affordable to put in a small raised bed. And the larger system you want to do, Actually, the less expensive it gets, after you buy the filter, which is the major expense, all you have to do is just buy the pipe and install it. And so the labor, actually, the installation labor may take a little bit because you do have to dig uh, down into the soil. And uh, what this is, instead of actually dripping on top at the root zone of each plant, this actually goes six to eight inches underneath the ground and sprays out high pressure water to basically saturate the whole raised bed so that the entire root zone of the raised bed gets the water. Now this serves a few purposes. Number one, it'll save water because now instead of dripping it on top and getting evaporation, it's putting the water underneath the ground so that there'll be very minimal evaporation. It's getting the water to the root zone where the plants need it. Another feature that I really like about this system is that it actually aerates the soil. At the beginning of each cycle, it pumps extra oxygen into the soil which is really good for the beneficial microbes to increase them which then will increase your production of your plants and another huge benefit to this system is because you're not overhead watering or even dripping on the surface of the uh, bed basically you're gonna minimize your weed problems think about it weed seeds land through birds through wind through whatever and they only germinate because it's wet now if the weed seeds are sitting on top and the water line and where the root zone and where it's wet is below the top, your weeds aren't going to germinate. So that's a lot less labor for like weeding or if you do and hopefully you don't use herbicides, whether uh, conventional, which I really don't recommend, or even organic ones, you won't have to do that anymore because weeds won't be happening in an earth mist or garden. In any case, I've done enough talking. Let's do some chalking. And uh, let's go ahead and bring over the uh, Earth Mister package that got shipped to me and open it up and show you guys what I got. All right, so here's the kit they sent me. It's just a big uh, something rolled up in some cardboard with some plastic over it. We're going to go ahead and take uh, my handy dandy cutter here and cut through the plastic in the cardboard. 
Oh, now I before I go on, I do need to mention that I am while I am not sponsored by the Earth Mister Company, this was a gift to me to actually try out in my garden. Uh, they were really impressed with the initial two videos I made about the Earth Mister, and they decided to give me one because they have faith in their product that it's going to work in my garden, and I'm going to you know share it with all my YouTube subscribers. Probably one of the most uh, watched YouTube gardening shows on the internet. So let's go ahead and. Uh, See what we got here. So this is the heart of the Earth Mister system right here. Instead of having multiple lines run down your raised bed like the drip irrigation on the top here, what's going to happen is you're just going to run this one line underneath the ground down the middle of the raised bed. And what there is, there's these little holes on both sides they're going to spray out high pressure water underneath the ground to saturate the soil we're going to install this down the middle of the raised bed all the way down and then we're going to put a, a flow control valve so we could actually adjust the pressure if this comes out at really high pressure it'll actually spray and then actually go through the soil and probably hit the wood of the bed which would end up rotting the wood which we don't want so we're going to have to adjust the pressure to find out where the sweet spot is where we need it just so that it, you know, uh, irrigates the entire bed but not get the sides of the bed uh, too wet. The other thing to note is the uh, orientation of this piping. You can see it right there. Um, you want to put this, uh, the large uh, piece up and the uh, small tube down. Because once again, this is a gravity fed system and this is primarily uh, works off water pressure now you do need to have a minimum water pressure requirement in order to run this system or it's not going to work so if you have a well and you don't have like a booster pump this ain't going to work you need high pressure if you're on a residential system then this is probably going to work for you now we're going to talk about the installation of the earth mister so you just saw the uh the tubing here now these tubings i don't know what are they like maybe about four feet long this is not a long enough to fit my whole raised bed. My raised bed is about four foot by about 15 feet long. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these and just uh, run it down the middle and connect these together. So to connect these together, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get some connectors. And uh, they have a few additional parts. And uh, these are the additional parts you'll get. Uh, this is an additional connector here. It kind of just will link uh, two of these guys together like so and you'll need to use the uh, PVC uh, primer and glue to glue these guys together to make sure there's no leaks and that basically will join these guys together and in addition to uh, joining them together on uh, one end we're gonna have a cap and this is the cap that goes on the other end once again we're gonna need to use the uh, PVC glue to glue that on and if we flip this all the way over now and besides the connectors and the end cap, we have another end cap, and this is the end cap we're going to use to feed the water into the earth mister. So this has an adapter on one end so that you can use a three-quarter inch tubing, I believe, on the ID or inside diameter. The outside diameter is meant to use um, one inch over the top or three-quarter into the middle. So I'm using three-quarter, which is pre-existing pre in my garden. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to adapt into my existing garden into the three-quarter inch tubing and just uh, shove it right in the middle there to feed the earth mister system. You can see I have the drip irrigation set up behind me. I have two uprights uh, where the three-quarter inch comes out of the ground. We're basically going to take out the drip, uh, cut that off underneath the ground, and then uh, basically trench out the raised bed to put uh, one line of the earth mister down the middle. So once again, with the earth mister, you need just one tube down the middle, which then will spray out every 12 inches to saturate the subsurface of the soil so that the whole bed will get coverage of the water so you don't have to have individual drippers. And once again, just because it's underneath the ground, you're not going to get extra weed growth and you're going to get the water to where it needs it and you're actually going to minimize your evaporation. Yes, the earth mister system, you got to connect a few things, but it's very simple and very easy to install and to even make that simpler if you're not uh, ever done any kind of irrigation work before oops they have a very simple instruction guide that you can actually print off on their website or will come with your earth mister kit it's a uh, directions for home garden installation 
and it's just literally a step-by-step -step kit with pictures so pretty much I mean this is like a no-brainer this is a very simple and easy install it'll just lead you through laying out and unpacking the earth mister and applying primer and applying the glue and actually the thing I like about the earth mister is that they include the glue and the primer with the kit you don't have to go out to a hardware store you know to buy that stuff separately it's included if you buy the kit now if you buy the pieces separately you know you're gonna have to go out and buy your own uh, glue and primer and other uh, PVC pipes to adapt it you know to your specific needs uh, they sell the kits for like a standard four foot by four foot garden and probably also other sizes as well so while this earth mister pipe is meant to spray out on both sides they can custom design pipes depending on what your needs so if you're putting it against your house you don't want it to spray out both sides they could just have pipes you know earth misters that spray out on one side they could also do custom design work which I hope they're gonna do pretty soon to basically be able to put this into a raised bed and have the uh, earth mister run around the whole raised bed on the edge and then pump the water inside into the middle of the raised bed so uh, in any case I got a lot of trenching and digging to do so I'm gonna get to that before it gets too dark here so the first step is that I've uh, taken the tape measure and I've kind of measured the bed and gotten pretty much my halfway point and I've actually marked the uh, raised bed where the middle point is on both ends and then I'm gonna basically probably uh, draw a string or run a string all the way down and I'm gonna trench down the middle so it is recommended that you sink the earth mister system about six to eight inches down underneath the subsoil so I'm gonna measure down from the base of my raised bed down about six inches and then uh, basically uh, dig a trench all the way down the middle but the first step is to remove my antiquated drip irrigation system so uh, based on the way that I put this in it's very simple we're just gonna go ahead and uh, pull these guys out right here there we go that's all out and we can literally pull this out as one whole mass now you don't want to just be throwing this stuff away you could pull out all the drippers and all the little plugs and all the corner pieces and all reuse all this stuff uh, I'm probably gonna keep this intact just in case the earth mister system doesn't work and we need to put it back in so you can see that now I, I pulled the string all the way down the middle of the bed so that I know where I need to dig and we're just gonna dig a small trench all the way down the middle of the bed probably about down you know six inches or so I'm just about done digging the trench all the way down the middle of my bed now the trench only needs to be about like six inches down so you're gonna dig the trench six inches deep uh, like I guess counting the soil line six inches down now you want to only go six to eight inches deep you're gonna then set the earth mister irrigation right at the bottom of the trench you made I'm gonna make my trench six inches deep because I don't want the earth mister going too deep although in other applications maybe grass where you want their roots to go down deeper you could definitely do that but you also may end up using more water to basically get the water to capillate up through the bed the next step is uh, because I'm not a precision digger I got a little setup here that I'll share with you guys so that I can get a uh, fairly accurate on the depth along the whole bed so uh, let me go ahead and do a close-up shot on that for you first you can see I have a line marking the middle of the bed that goes all the way down the center so that's actually uh, exactly where the earth mister is gonna go just pull the string very simple very easy I did use some bamboo stakes and they are bending so I actually used a bucket to uh, hold the string in place so it'd be nice and taut and uh, we do need to go down six inches so because I'm not a precision digger uh, you can see there we're pretty much down to the uh, six inch mark now how did I figure this out well it's very simple what we're gonna do is uh, show you my little uh, jig here I made I basically have a piece of the fence uh, board that I used to line the edges of the bed and I cut this exactly at six inches and up on the top there I put a couple staples in there to hold it on the string and uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and roll this down along the bottom and yeah I know it's gonna hang on the string a little bit so it's not gonna be totally perfect but I'm gonna try to keep you know keep it up and not push it up too much and just roll it straight across so that it's literally as I'm moving it down it may be moving some of the dirt out of the way as you can see so that I'll have a nice and even uh, six inch trench all the way down 
Now you could just eyeball it, it'd probably be fine, but you know, I like to try to do things as exact as possible. And I'm sure there's other ways to uh, level off your bed. This is the easiest way that I could come up with in a short amount of time with the resources that I had. Now that I have the trench dug down to six inches all the way down, what we need to do is uh, set up the Earth Mister irrigation pipe or tubing. And you can see it's right here. So what I've done is uh, dry fit this all together. And once again, this is a two chamber system. So the main chamber is actually acts as the feed chamber. You know, so you can't just take some PVC buried and put a couple small holes in it. It's not gonna work like this, you know, designed and engineered system. So this top chamber basically is the reservoir to feed the bottom chamber that will allow the bottom chamber to push out at high pressure, the water. So uh, we have three links here. We got the connectors all dry fit. This is about the size we're gonna need for the bed. Basically, we're gonna install this into the bed and put it in the bottom of the trench. Once again, it's six inches. So the earth mister is gonna, you know, uh, be down about that far underneath the uh, soil level. I'm gonna show you guys how to glue some of these joints with just some PVC glue. It's pretty basic, but if you've never done it before, it's gonna be good to see how it's done. You, I basically am gonna use some uh, primer and then the glue to join them together and then just kind of like let them sit and hang out for a little bit to dry. After that, we're then gonna cut off the main water uh, pipe right here and then uh, run that into the our earth mister system by uh, basically uh, going off that, going through a flow control because that's going to be very important to adjust the amount of flow going into the earth mister so that it doesn't actually flow out too much and actually hit the sides of our raised beds and then in which case the wood may rot out. So we're going to put an adjuster on it so that we can adjust the flow so that it goes just as much as we need it to. The other thing is if the bed is laying fallow or during the winter we want to control each particular bed we'll be able to turn off the water on each particular bed as needed. Next let's go ahead and show you guys how to glue up some PVC joints. Now we're going to glue this end and once again this is the dry fit so I have the end cap on in place where it will be so we're just going to go ahead and take it off and to glue the PVC you need a special uh, PVC uh, primer. This happens to be a clear PVC primer also comes in usually like a purple color in addition you will also need the PVC cement so this is also the uh, clear PVC cement it also usually comes in different colors I think last time we used a gray color nonetheless uh, normally I don't use primer it is probably uh, recommended that you use primer uh, for most just regular joints but I would uh, encourage you to use it on these special um, earth mister joints because this is not a standard round joint uh, some of these fittings don't exactly fit totally flush, so the primer will help the um, the glue to uh, work more effectively so you won't have any leaks. The other thing that's very important when using the earth mister is uh, you want to get all the dirt off. So we got a standard towel here. We're just going to try to get all the dirt and uh, stuff off because uh, dirt is the enemy to the system. If you get a small bit of dirt inside your system, that could clog the pores up, and that's not too good. So we're also going to end up uh, flushing the system before we put the final end cap on. Very important. So once again, we're going to take the uh, clear primer, unscrew that, and we're going to go ahead and put primer on the inside of all the different joints. We're going to glue. And once we got the primer on there, then we're going to go ahead and take some of that PVC glue. Now you want to be generous with the PVC glue. It's there to be used, not to be saved. You want to make sure that you get glue over all the different parts, even in this little crevice here. It's very critical. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this underneath so when I set this down, it's not going to actually hit the wood. Also, we need to go ahead and also uh, glue liberally the other part we're going to join. And I'm going to get some more uh, PVC glue to put inside here as well. Once you got the joints glued well, then you're going to push them together and push it all the way until it's nice and uh, seated. And then you're going to hold it, you know, for about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds to let the glue set. Some people, if they're a professional plumber, may say this is a, a sloppy job because I have a lot of glue coming out the seams. Well, you know, I'd rather have some glue coming out the seams than it uh, actually leaking later on. So now that, now that it's been set, I could let it go and just uh, let it go ahead and finish drying. I gotta next do the other joints where the connectors are. 
I won't bore you. It's pretty much the same process. You just want to make sure you primer it and get it a lot of glue so that the fittings will hold snug without leaking. Here's our glued pipe. There's the one in you saw me glue. And going down, you can see I glued in this uh, coupler there. And going further down, there's the other coupler. And then finally, uh, on this end, actually, we didn't glue the end on because we're going to leave it open so that we can flush all the dirt out of the system after we get it installed. And so that's the last end that's going to go on after we flush out the system and then dry the end to make sure there's no dirt inside the system because that could seriously affect the performance of your earth mister system. Now that we have the earth mister system all glued together, the next step is to cut into the main water pipe that feeds this raised bed. And here it is right here. It comes up from the ground three quarter inch into a coupler, which then goes into uh, one half inch, then into our valve and then into the drip irrigation we used to have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down here, but I'm not gonna cut it right at the coupler because in the end you could never use this whole piece again. We're gonna actually go a little bit below the coupler so that if we need to, we can always glue another coupler onto this to put this back in the raised bed should the earth mister system not work or should we need to use this part for another project. All right, so there we go, got that cut off. Now, uh, there is some water leaking from this, so I always encourage you to um, dig down below the level you're gonna cut so that the water doesn't get the area you're working on muddy. The other thing we did was I wiped down this pipe really good to get rid of all the dirt, because when we do glue on to that new joint, we don't wanna have any dirt on there. Now I'm drying the PVC pipe to make sure we're gonna get a good joint here. Then we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of primer on our pipe in the ground. Followed by the glue. And how this PVC glue works is it literally melts the PVC so that it literally makes a, a really good joint. Next, we're going to go ahead and glue up this joint here. You want to make sure you get a nice uh, coating of the PVC glue in both joints and I did uh, pre-primer this already and we're just gonna go ahead and slide this on there and I like to actually twist it on till it goes to the end stop so now what we get to do is now that this is in place we're gonna go ahead and uh, have this tube come up where they're we're gonna then go into the uh, valve which I have right here I'm gonna cut this out put the valve in place and then we're gonna uh, go up come over and then come down into the earth mister that's gonna be, once again, six inches underneath the uh, soil level. So I've just been uh, cutting some different PVC pipes and uh, making some connectors to basically glue on from the coupler to a pipe to the uh, ball valve. So once again, we can control the flow rate. After this, we're gonna go down and then we're gonna tee in to the earth mister system. So I have a standard PVC T that will then adapt to these special adapters that allow you to put the earth mister system. Now once again, the one thing you have to remember is that the big side is up, the small side is down. Otherwise the earth mister system can be installed upside down, sideways, and it's not gonna work as designed. It needs to be designed in this orientation where the reservoir is on top and it's spraying the water from the bottom. So the next tip is I got a couple more cuts and we're gonna go ahead and uh, glue this in place gonna be like that and our earth mister system will be finished and installed today along the way I really like to dry fit or just kind of lay out everything as it's gonna go because you could make your cuts and make it how you think it's gonna be and then you notice you kind of messed up so I like to just double check everything I'm doing and as you can see the uh, main earth mister pipe is uh, in the ground uh, about the position it's gonna be all the way down a contiguous line and there it goes all the way to the other end of the raised bed. Once again, this is about a 15 foot run. And now you can see here where basically uh, our standard PVC line is run. And then we're going to have to adapt into the earth mister. Now I did plan it this way so that when I did put this in, uh, this whole setup here, which is a teed off setup, which you can do 
you know, in the middle of an Earth Mister run. But the thing to remember is that this section should not be where a dripper is because if a dripper is every 12 inches, like for example, a dripper is right here, right after the um, T is going to be, then there's one over here, the next 12 inches over, and then going the other way, there's 12 inches. So if we had a drip, uh, you know, dripper right here, and we cut it in, that means a significant portion of your bed will not be getting water, and it's not going to work properly. So to make things easier, if you don't have pre-existing uh, water pipes coming up in your bed, I would highly encourage you to always, uh, you know, install the water system at the end of the bed so that you just have one contiguous run and that's where the water comes in and then it's basically just plugged off at the other end. Yet another reason for the layout like this is now I could definitely see where I need to cut. So you know the uh, this earth mister is going to come into this fitting probably about till there so I'm going to probably cut it right around here and then on the other side you know I'm going to mark it and cut it right around here so that I could shove part of it in there and it's going to be a uh, the exact size I need. For those of you that are wondering the way you cut the earth misters, you could use a hacksaw, something like that. I like to use a standard PVC cutter. This is up, cuts up to a one and five eighths inch PVC. Now I'd recommend definitely a larger size PVC cutter than this to easily cut the earth mister, but this one will work. What I like to do is I like to come in and find the point where I'm gonna cut at, which is right here. And then we're gonna set the earth mister up uh, this orientation and then we're just basically gonna cut and uh, you're gonna do one step at a time. And it's definitely a slow process. All right, there you go. It really is really super easy and super simple to cut. So you can see I got the whole system installed. Everything's glued from what you see that's installed currently except the last end. We're gonna keep that unglued so that actually we could blast out any water and clean out any debris if I did get any in there. Uh, let's see, I already, uh, let's see, got these guys glued up here, I think pretty good. We got those joints glued up and we got the elbow here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, guy in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy in there first to spin it all the way around and get it lined up and then come back in and this is the last glue joint. Check it out, right in there. and our systems installed let's see about six inches down from the bottom right along our string line looks perfect to me I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry overnight and tomorrow I'll be back to uh, bleed out the line and then glue that last joint and we'll see how this system does so it's a new day and uh, all the glue has dried from yesterday's project of getting this installed as you can see the earth mister is installed right down the middle of the bed in the oriented in the right correct direction and uh, basically we have it all uh, glued in and I'll go ahead and give you a close-up on that and then we're gonna uh, show you the end that I actually didn't glue because now we're gonna do basically the uh, the flush through this is a very important step when you're using the earth mister to make sure that you have no major dirt in the lines that can later clog up your holes so here's the uh, finished product <laughs> As you saw, we uh, cut off the bottom, the pipe coming in. We then uh, did a coupler up to our three-quarter inch valve, which can control the amount of pressure the earth mister gets. Then it goes uh, up and then over down to the center of the bed and uh, right into a T, and then we T off into the two sides of the earth mister. This way goes, I don't know, maybe uh, four feet worth, and then the other side goes all the way to the other side of the bed I don't know another 10 feet or so so uh, next we're gonna go down the side of the bed where I have the uh, the pipe end off and we're gonna flush the system all during installation we had the end cap just kind of set on there but not glued on there we're gonna go ahead and take this off and now we're gonna turn the pressure on to the water system and uh, we'll see all the water come out of here and we just need to do that for I don't know, 10 seconds or so, just to make sure there's no dirt in the system before we glue on this last end cap. Now we got the water turned on, I'm gonna go ahead and put the water through there. All right, so there you see we're clearing out the system, got some air bubbles in there, and uh, definitely have no more dirt in there, so now we can go ahead and turn this off. I just got this uh, end cap glued up, 
and now we just got to get this uh, let this dry and then we're gonna go ahead and pressure test this is the moment you've been waiting for I got the end glued on like you just saw and today we're gonna do the full-on pressure test so I have hundred percent pressure going to this valve here I'm gonna open that up and we're gonna see uh, this system uh, energize or fill with water and start to spray out in addition I'm gonna check for leaks number one but number two, more importantly, this is what like many people have asked for. We're going to actually see the uh, sprays come out and actually hit the dirt to see how far it tunnels. And actually in this area right here, I dug uh, down, I don't know, at least a foot or so into my raised bed on the edge of the raised bed to see if the earth mister literally cuts a hole in the compost and will reach the end of the bed. Uh, you know, we do have a trench, open trench there, so... Once I do fill it in, it's probably not going to go quite as far, but this will give me an estimation if this system even works and is plausible at all. It's kind of like Mythbusters, so let's check it out next. Oh, there it is. You see it filled with water. Holy crap! Look at that! This thing is like spraying out so far, it's like spraying out of the front yard, hitting the, hitting the car. And now this one's going, and let's see here. We're going to do the above head shot, and you can see right there the edge. It's spraying there, and then I dug a hole there. And, uh, you know, it's not quite pumping through to hit the edge yet. But, man, some of those, that's insane. I mean, this stuff is spraying pretty hard, but, uh, you know, it's not yet spraying through hard enough to hit the edge of my raised bed. Right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn this off. And uh, right, because we're really pulling out the water here. The good news is that it doesn't look like I have any leaks on my seams. We're getting a nice jet spray. Let me go ahead and put my finger there. I mean, that's a pretty hard spray. That's as hard as some of the hardest showers I've ever taken. I mean, that's some serious water pressure. I mean, here it is over here. I mean, you can see that. That's definitely flowing at least 12 feet into the air, hitting the car in the street there. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this guy off. You just saw it here. I, I definitely have no leaks, and you can see actually the it's still draining out, even though it was pressurized. There's no pressure in it now. The, the ends are draining out. And while it does pressurize and definitely spray a lot of water, it, it couldn't even cut through approximately, I don't know, a foot and a half of my compost. And yeah, you know, this has been in here for about two years, and it's nice hard. I mean, it's almost like... Not quite like clay, but it's pretty dang hard, and it didn't have the power to cut through there at this point. So I may have some other issues. I got to check to see my overall water pressure. If my personal water pressure here is not high enough, then it, this system is not going to work properly. I'll have to call the Earth Mister guys and see if they have any other suggestions on what I could do to get this working properly if it's not already. So definitely, you want to stay tuned for any updates. I'm going to continue. Uh, screwing around with this system. I'm gonna probably uh, put this all back and then plant the bed out and we're just gonna see how it works in a real world situation and if it doesn't really work, if the water doesn't capillate and get everywhere it needs to be, then guess what? This is gonna get pulled out and I'll be able to see that pretty easily because we're gonna plant this out in rows actually just in the next few days and if it's not working properly, obviously the things at the edges are probably not gonna get watered and they're not gonna be doing good and the stuff in the middle will be doing good so that's going to tell us the water's just not doesn't quite have the reach that it should be so hopefully you've enjoyed this episode learning more about the earth mister once again my name is john kohler with growingyourgreens.com we'll see you next time and keep on growing